Hello, and thank you for joining us for the volunteer training for Room Host. My name is Kristen Berg, Office Manager for Kesselman Jones, Inc. Kesselman Jones has been retained by your organization to manage the Head to Toe Conference, and it's my pleasure to provide your training today. As a volunteer, you serve as our eyes, ears, and smiles. Your support and involvement can be the difference between a speaker or attendee having an average or an outstanding conference experience. A room host has been assigned to every session, whether it is a keynote session or a breakout. Room hosts are there to serve speakers, attendees, and the conference office. You will help us keep an eye on the room, support the speaker, and answer attendee questions. Breakout session hosts have more responsibilities than keynote session hosts because there will be more, they will be more isolated and there will be less external support. Many of the directions you'll be hearing are specifically for breakout session hosts, but there are some things that apply for the keynote session. It is very important that you check in at the registration desk no less than 15 minutes before you're scheduled to host a room. When you check in, you'll pick up a room host packet for each of your sessions. We may also have some materials that could not fit into that room host packet, such as speaker materials or speaker gift. Your room host packet will alert you if there are additional materials. You must be in your session room at least 10 minutes before the presentation. Breakout session hosts will receive an envelope for each session, which we call our room host packet. The front of the envelope will give details about your session, such as the room assigned, speakers, and possible AV equipment requested. Also on the envelope will be contact numbers of the registration desk staff and some questions that need to be answered before returning the envelope at the end of the session. One of the most important questions is how many people were in the room. We need this number for our post-event reporting. In the envelope will be a sheet that outlines your responsibility as a room host to refresh your memory from this presentation. You may also have session evaluations for distribution and, your and if your session is a panel, panel signs for the head table. Note, a room host box will be placed each morning into each of the breakout sessions. This room host box includes a number of standard supplies such as tape, pens, post-its, and tissues as well as a variety of signs to alert the presenter the time is running out, to notify attendees that the session is full, and to reserve seating for wheelchairs. We ask that each of the room hosts at the end of the day bring the room host box back to the registration along with your envelope. Keynote or plenary hosts will just receive timing signs to help alert the speakers as to when their session ends. When you enter the room, no less than 10 minutes before the session, you'll want to check the room, host, the room setup. Make sure everything is there that is listed as audiovisual on the front of your room host packet. Two, find light switches and test them in case you're asked to dim the lights during the presentation. Sometimes multiple rooms have lighting linked and will have to be adjusted from a different room. Please alert the registration desk if you have trouble dimming the lights. Three, if the presentation is a panel, place panel signs located in your room host packet on the head table. Four. If there are reserved for wheelchair signs in your packet, place one on the last table in the back of the room and remove the chair for easy access for an individual in a wheelchair. The first thing you'll want to do when the presenter arrives is to welcome and introduce yourself to the presenter. Let them know that you were there to support them throughout their session. Ask the presenter if there's anything that they need that's not in the room. If they have any requests that you can't accommodate, come to the registration desk and we will help you. Let the speaker know what short bio or introduction you have for them and if any modifications need to be made in the introductions. If the presenter has a PowerPoint, ask if they would like the lights dimmed. Let the presenter know that you have signs you can hold up to alert them when their time is running out. Some presenters will want you to notify them and some won't. Some may only want a five minute warning. If your session is being attended by a hearing impaired attendee, Place the special sign in your packet in the front row and remind the presenter that they will be in the room. You will see notification on your envelope if you have an interpreter in the room. If a speaker brought materials, ask if they need assistance distributing. Most of our conferences no longer provide handouts. Materials are either provided on a thumb drive or if we have approval, they will be posted on the conference website. If a speaker mentions in a session that they will forward materials to the conference office, 
to be placed on the website, please note this on your room host packet label. Keynote or plenary hosts should sit in the front of the room where they can catch the eye of the presenter so that they can be sure that they are seen when they indicate the time is running out. Our AV team can provide additional support. If it's been 10 minutes before your session and you haven't seen your speaker, please contact the registration desk. Once you and your speaker are settled, it is very important that you take the time, take the lead to make sure your presentation starts and ends on time. Ending on time is important, especially if there is a session in the same room immediately following yours. If your speaker would like to continue a conversation after their presentation, please ask them to step out so the next speaker has time to prepare for their presentation. Sometimes we may have to make last minute adjustments to the agenda. If this happens, a staff member will contact you with revised start end times. Please take this direction only from conference staff. Welcome the attendees. Then, provide a brief speaker introduction to the audience. After the session, thank the speaker. If you were given evaluations to distribute, collect them and put them in the room host envelope. Also, put a copy of any material distributed in your session in the envelope. Verify that you've answered all the questions on the front of the envelope. Bring your envelope and, if the last session of the day, the room host supply box back to the registration desk. If people have left sweaters, glasses, purses, or other personal items they will be looking for sooner or later, please bring them to the registration as well. We have a lost and found box at our table. Room temperature is the most common complaint we receive and the most difficult to accommodate since people are wearing different layers of clothing and have different metabolisms. Don't respond immediately after the first complaint. Wait until you get a number of complaints or actually see people fanning themselves or putting on their jackets. Don't try to trust your own temperature, especially if you've been running around. If the room is definitely too warm or too cold, please come or call the registration desk. If an engineer comes to the room, make sure he or she clearly understands which direction you want the thermostat moved. In most of the cases, however, you will never see anyone come to your room as the temperature is controlled by a central computer. It can take up to 30 minutes in larger hotels for temperatures to adjust. Please trust that we have placed your request into the facility. When there are multiple breakout rooms, the technicians will be going from room to room. If you do not, see, do not immediately see a technician and need support, call the registration desk for assistance. We have radios to reach them immediately. The most important thing is to let the speaker know that the technician is on their way. This is our most asked and most important question. As a conference representative, there might be a situation that requires mediation. For example, a room is full and an attendee, or there is someone disrupting the session with their own conversation. If you are comfortable handling the issue, please do so. If not, please contact the registration desk and we'll be happy to step in to resolve the issue. We have upgraded our conference app. We are using a tool that, in addition to schedules and logistics, provides a secure, exclusive, and interactive online community created around the conference that encourages everyone to connect and collaborate before, during, and after the conference event itself. We encourage all volunteers to download and familiarize yourself with the app prior to the conference. You should have received an email with a personalized link to access the app. Didn't get that email? No problem. Visit your app store and search for Head to Toe. Thank you very much for watching the training. We hope that you've received enough information so that you're comfortable with your role at the conference. If you have any questions, concerns, or need more clarification, please don't hesitate to call the conference office. Our number is 505-266-3451 or toll free at 866-219-4582 and ask for the Head to Toe Volunteer Coordinator. We'll see you at Head to Toe!